You're looking at the stadium Buckeye fans so finally referred to as the Horseshoe. And this afternoon, their number one ranked Buckeyes of Ohio State roll out the welcome mat for the Rockets of Toledo. The Big Cat, 19 at 98. Second down for the Buckeyes. Jermaine wants to go upstairs. He has Boston at the eight-yard line. He's across the 10 and dropped close to the 15-yard line. Jermaine to get hit. On Thursday, they even were trying the flea flicker pass. Give to Wiley. Hits the left side. Some running room across the 20. Finally goes down at the 23-yard line. High formation. Wiley behind Keller. Pitch goes to Wiley. Cuts it back across the 25 to 30. He's got some running room. Midfield, 45, 30, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Michael Wiley. 76 yards. That's what, they, that's what they mean by he can break it at any time. That's what they like about Michael Wiley. He's a guy that can hit the home run at any given time. The Kent State Hall of Fame, the former tight end, and right now he's watching his Rockets trying to stop the number one team in college football. Boston at the 40. And Boston finally drops at the 32-yard line. So Joe Germain is coming out gunning. Yeah, as we talked with Gary Pinkle yesterday afternoon, he says... That's obviously the key. Jermaine wants to go upstairs again. Finds his man. Miller at the 10. And D. Miller's in the touch for the touchdown. <laughs> D. Miller was wide open. You can't get any more open than that. There was some kind of breakdown there as far as Toledo's defense. Take this for bigger than Ohio State's offensive line. There's some players down there. That is an interesting point. Wallace leaves the pocket, goes downfield, and it's picked off. Damon Moore. And it's Ohio State football inside the 20-yard line. Yard line, the Buckeyes in the red zone against West Virginia. Perfect five for five. Three touchdowns and a couple of field goals. Wiley with the lane. Wiley at the 10, goes down at about the nine-yard line. It's a pretty impressive group right there. Jermaine upstairs. Fade pattern, Boston touchdown, Ohio State. That's just pure athleticism on the part of David Boston. That later in the broadcast, considering the fact they lost so many players from the 96 team. Wallace lays it up there, and it is picked off by Ohio State. It's Plummer. On the preceding play, I said Plummer was licking his chops, but Plummer with five picks. Six at the 41-yard line. I formation. Keller. Back by Michael Wiley. Wiley. He's got the lane. And Wiley picks up the first down for Ohio State. After fighting back from that serious knee injury. This time, a quick opening. It's Keller. He's got some running room. Keller down to the 10-yard line. It's West Virginia, but for 16 yards. Average eight yards a crack. Joe Montgomery. Good cutback. Montgomery can smell the end zone. Touchdown, Joe Montgomery. And a great... The defense is all over you. You start second-guessing yourself every time. Just like that time right there. Another interception. It's Diggs. Niall Diggs at the 10, fighting his way. Knocked out of bounds at about the five-yard line. The third interception for Ohio State this afternoon. Tell you what, Chris Wallace took a big hit. He was very... ...yards, 27 touchdowns, nine interceptions. He's got three here this afternoon. Jermaine quickly goes for the juggler, and Reggie Germany lights up the board with another touchdown for the Buckeyes. He was wide open. Beach is on 36-yard line. This time, Lindstrom gets off a of beauty. Boston backing up to his own 20. Body gets it at the 15-yard line. And he's got a lane, and David Boston cuts it back to the outside. Boston at the midfield stripe. Finally lunges forward and is stopped at the 46 of Toledo. Garcia, play action. He wants to go for the home run ball. Going down, he's got Reggie Germany. Germany's second touchdown of the day, his second touchdown as a Buckeye. And Garcia has to feel pretty good about that one. 
just speed. Ohio State showing its speed. He says if they're inexperienced, he looks at it on the positive frame of mind, calls it an opportunity. We'll see if they rise to the occasion. Lots of pressure. Germain steps up in the pocket, dumps it to his big tight end who's across the 35. Up near the 30. He was already drafted by the Colorado Rockies in baseball. Wiley gets the call. Cut back. Across the 40, 45. And he's over the midfield strike, and he's finally dragged down by number two, Ira Singleton. Had some trouble putting the ball on the turf, but he says he's going to cover up big time this year. Wiley again tries to break it to the outside, puts his shoulders down. Pen in a backup role <laughs> the last couple of years, 31 touchdowns over 3,000 yards. Definitely starting numbers. And number 33, Joe Montgomery, definitely showing no ill length that he would have scored against Michigan. Game played right here, the horseshoe. Quick drop, complete. Boston spins near the 20, down inside the 20 to the 19 yard line. Up where he left off his junior year. He's got a touchdown here today, two for the season. Michael Wiley will walk into the end zone, and Michael Wiley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. A little misdirection that time, and Toledo all went right bottom at the 23. It'll be a 33 yard kick. The freshman trying to avert the shutout, but it's wide. 51 seconds to go. Cole at the quarterback. Taylor again. Fourth straight time he's touched the football. Tries to break it to the outside. Good defensive play that time by Ohio State. Nate Clements, true freshman out of Shaker Heights, six feet, 185 pound freshman. Boy, a lot of young players last last week, this week. Get a, a good look. Time. Get a good look at these guys because uh, this is the future for both football teams. These uh, are the guys that will be playing for Toledo in the years to come. Much the same for Ohio State. Last play of the game now for the Toledo Rockets, and they keep it on the ground. It's Taylor again. He's stopped by Joe Cooper out of Independence. And that's going to wrap it up, and they're going to put this one in the books. The Buckeyes up 42 zip at half, and they win it 49-0 over the Rockets of Toledo. Back with our final thoughts coming up after this.